All right. It is time for episode three of Castlevania. I, like I said, I will continue with Big Mouth, uh, you know, in the, up during this uh, week, but also uh, of this uh, Castlevania. All right, Shadow Battles. Let's get into this. Got to get my uh, glove. Makes it very interesting. Vampires. I'm a fun person. Kyo away. Add. All right. Who are you? Who is the, is that hair? Oh, I know who you are now. It's that damn hair. I gave it away, man. That damn hair. Uh, what's his name again? Hector. Yeah, his hair looks like... Wet paper. Like his hair looks like wet paper, literally. What's that? Oh no, a dog! A lot of flies. So he's always had this kind of ability. Let there be life and light. Oh, look at his eye. Light glow and blue. It's a lab. Yeah, that's like the hammer from a uh, Shadow of War. The uh, thing. Here. I want a game where you can turn into, where you're a vampire, but you can also turn into like, like you have a full vampire form, you know, like a monster looking, and fly, oh, because the infamous, it would have been so cool to turn, a man bat, basically, you have that form, that is, would be so fucking awesome, oh my god. A new night creature, amazing. Hmm? Hector, may we speak? Well, I can't stop you from speaking to me. Your vampire aristocracy, after all. I'm a simple human smith. Your skills are a legend. It's magic. Our kind has never produced a forge master. But you didn't have to. Before the war, night creatures were simply a species in hiding. They either reproduced naturally or were created by acts of wild magic. Now they are soldiers. Their numbers have to be replenished. You didn't need forge masters until now. <laughs> but your intellect cannot be denied. If you say so. I do. And Dracula himself clearly agrees. He listens to you. As yes. much as he does to Isaac. Which is, frankly, not much. He seems to listen to him pretty much. I'm worried about Dracula. I am. It's not like... 
like him to be indecisive. The fire in him has gone out somehow. It's as if we're looking at the embers of a man. Hmm. There are things we can do that don't require his decisions. There it is. No, I don't. Use. There are. It means nothing to the war effort if we sent a group to the Belmont home to begin a search for their hold. Uh -huh. Why are you so fascinated by that? If anyone in all the world has tools or magic who can harm our Lord Dracula, it is in the Belmont Trove. We need to ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. Simple. All right. That is logical. I agree to that. But Dracula must approve the dispensation of troops. How did you come to be in his service? I met him over a year ago. When he was traveling. He sought me out, you know. Did he really? I was living in the east of Rhodes. Very quietly. He'd heard of me from scholars in town and looked for me, specifically. <laughs> we talked for hours. Uh, flashback. After his wife died, he came to me, asking for my help. <sighs> Can you imagine? A man like that. Asking a human for help. Just open the door. In order to avenge a human. Kitty. Master Dracula. Is it you? Why don't you go back to Hector? I have need of your skill. Tell me what you need. I need an army. Hector, put your hair about Take like that because and creatures of the night I don't must be called into their corpses. These are your skills. What's happened? Why do you need an army? They killed my wife. They killed my wife. Spot on. They. The humans. The stupid, vicious, spiteful, evil humans. Disgusting the humans things. Renounced. The humans you live apart from. They killed my wife. So Bastards. No more, Hector. They must be stopped. Cold. Is this genocide, Dracula? Jeez. Would that concern you? No. Well. My fellow humans have never treated me with love. Mm. But I punish them for it. But I wouldn't have them suffer. And. Like any animal, I think the world would be poorer with their existence. Let me get back to that. I would just see to it that they couldn't harm anyone else. Yes. Now that is how it shall be. Vampires feed on humans. I understand this. If humans were capable... Not always, but yes. Most stock. I would have no concern over that. If conditions were... Humane. I was going to say merciful. A merciful end to the human plague, Hector. Will you join me? Yes. A cull. Well. Controlled population. Making sure they cannot harm anyone else. Yes. He was a giant. It was my understanding that when a Forge Master hmm. reanimates a thing, it yes, has sir. total loyalty to the Forge Master and his goals. It does. Make some troops that you can trust completely with whatever they find. And then help me convince Dracula to attack Prela. Why?
Ah, see, I don't trust her. There. That's my tree. I used to play in that tree. Your childhood tree? One of the other house. Where's mine? Oh yeah, out back. It's hard to imagine you playing. Yeah, I suppose so. It was everything, that tree. It was my house and my boat and my fort. Anything I wanted it to be. <sighs> Good night, tree. Good night, moon. Not too good. Grow up in a single place. Mm. Probably look better though. It was. I kind of want a flashback now, actually, of it his family. It wasn't the worst way to grow up. How old were you when your family home was taken? Uh, 13, 14, or something like that. You've been on your own since you were 13? Wow. Maybe 12. <laughs> Who remembers that sort of thing? 12. Is there a point to these questions? I'm disturbed to find that I had more of a childhood than you did. And you are as fucking Dracula. What? <laughs> oh. I got. Wow. Okay. That's. Hmm. seem to be able to get any patches on it. Hmm. Ah, I see now. You won't be able to lift it. Well, my family got it up somehow. I was taken down there as a child. Did you see them lift it? No. That's helpful. They brought me through it once it was <clears> open. <throat> they told me they'd teach me how to do it one day. I suppose there was a special trick. Imagine. Were your parents magicians? Not as such. I mean, they knew a lot, but this door was put in by one of our ancestors. Well, I guess the special trick was passed down the generations. The way we speakers transmit knowledge. Your parents knew the trick, but didn't know where it came from, or what it really was. Stand back. Oh, what's an eye, you know? Hmm. 
Ah, cool. Belmont isn't even a Wallachian name. That just dawned on me. It's no. not? The family's originally from the Kingdom of France, but we moved out of there a few hundred years ago. Moved or chased? Moved. Thank you very much. With people behind you waving pitchforks and torches. No. No. We're professionals. We move where the work is. What does that even mean? All the dark things moved into the east. I think it was a Leon Belmont who entered the region first. And he built this house. And dug the foundations for everything under it. Is that a Demogorgon? <laughs> That's cool. Sacrifices a chicken and finds the location of the book you want from the intestines. Maybe Belmont has a crystal ball in here you could ask. Shut up. It's an impressive tip, Belmont, but it is nonetheless a tip. Your ancestors were apparently mentally ill orders. I fully expect to find family cats mummified under some of these shelves. <laughs> Unless your family preferred to eat them. There's an index on the left that? turn at the bottom. So this really is a managed collection. It's the work of generations. God damn. An archive of everything we've found and learned since the days of Leon Belmont. Hey. What was your Leon Belmont doing? It's been acid. Fun game. Huh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my. Just could have just moved it with your hand. Could it? Well, find out, and you don't have to save it. Get yourself a new whip thingy. What the hell you just say? That thing is awesome. Charming. 
you're not even a little bit impressed? Well, it's like a museum dedicated to the extermination of my people, so no, not thrilled. Yeah, I think he's more so just against his dad than to all of the Eternal Powers, you know, so. God May brand. I speak to you? Approach, Godbrand. I have a question. Yes. Go on. If you kill only humans, what are we gonna eat? Good. What? It's very simple, Dracula. If you kill all the humans, where does the continuing supply of human blood come from? I allow you to go on feeding raids when we change location. I have blood stored in cold canisters. There are animals in the lower levels. You won't go hungry, Godbrand. Not right now. No, but later. I don't want to be rationing myself on fucking pig blood. Careful. Pig blood gives me the shit. I'm sorry, but there it is. You'll be taken care of, Godbrand. Yes, of course, right. Except, what if we're not? What if you just want to kill all the humans and you don't leave us enough to keep in camps to feed from? I will not be questioned by you. I have told you how it will be. The humans will die. You will be taken care of. Little Godbrand. Little vampire. Little parasite. Parasite? Little boot weevil who delights in making noise and pretending he is important and dangerous. Are you going to continue questioning me? Are you going to fight me, little Godbrand? Mm -mm. No. Then why are you still here? Making your little noises. Get out before I slit you up the middle and bite out your heart. Yes, sir. <laughs> Boy. He's gonna kill all the humans and leave us without any livestock. We're all gonna starve to death. Surely not. I'll tell you another thing. I still wouldn't want to try him in a straight fight, but I have a strong suspicion he hasn't fed in a while. Why would Dracula of all people go without blood? Because this isn't a war, Carmilla. It's a suicide. His wife's dead, and he wants to join her. And he wants to take all of us with him. We're all gonna die! All of us! Godbrand, wait! I'm not gonna fuck you, Carmilla! I'm too pissed off! You stupid bastard! Damn! What the hell was that for? To focus your attention. On what? Pain? On the fact that Dracula needs to take this castle to Brea. Why? Let me tell you something. I was turned centuries ago by a vampire master who said he was giving me the world. But in time, he grew old and cruel and mad. And I was bound to him. Until I decided to uh. turn back. Oh, wow. I wasn't going to be dictated to by mad old men anymore. Well, saw something there. And then I come here to meet with the leader of the high Ooh. nation. And what do I find? Mmm, god damn. Cruel Ooh. old man. Never again, good friend. Never again. That was something. Mm. Make sure you get episode four ready. Well, this
this is getting interesting. Hot and spicy. Ha <laughs> ha. Alrighty. Yeah, that, that was. Hmm. Might do episode uh, four now. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. I like this episode. That was cool. Show's still great. Oh yeah. Oh, little. One thousand nineteen million nineteen hundred million. Yeah, let's see. Gotta do this this way.